My first overview would be nobody has a clue what's going on with quantum mechanics. The world's leading experts on quantum mechanics admit they have no idea what's going on. And so when someone brings up this rebuttal, my first instinct is to point out it's probably not wise for us to appeal to something that we have no idea what we're appealing to. And so trying to appeal to it to defend and to avoid the logical implications of the Kalam just seems a little intellectually dishonest to me. Now, that being said, um, there's actually, even within this, there's actually a category error. There's a mistake going on here. When they say that quantum events happen without causes, that's not actually accurate, as best we can tell. Um, but quantum vacuum fluctuations don't happen in nothing. They occur in a sea of laws, fields, and energy. That's not nothing. That's kind of the opposite of nothing. That's a lot of stuff. So do they happen without a cause? It's not reasonable to assume that given that there's not, that they don't happen out of nothing. They happen out of a whole lot of things that we don't understand yet. So Lawrence Cross tried to argue that a universe could come from nothing based on the laws of quantum mechanics, but his nothing is literally a quantum vacuum which is not nothing. It's quite a lot of something. And this is why theoretical physicist David Albert called him out when he said, the laws of quantum field theory are not nothing. So even critics to our view concede that this objection fails, that it is incorrect to say that quantum events happen without causes.